Hi everybody, um, I know many of you in the room. I'm Colleen Kalashu. Um, I graduated in 07 and I am at Stanford um, in cardiology and I was really excited. This is great timing for me because I've been fighting for academic time for several years now and that's gonna start very shortly and so getting my brain back into how to think about and do research um, is where I'm at right now, so it's great. I'm uh, Matthew Thomas. I'm still, nope, not the only, yes. All right, um, so I am at the University of Virginia. I've been a pediatric genetic counselor in a general genetics clinic. I just started on July 1st doing cardiovascular genetics, following cardiology genetics with uh, Colleen. And I graduated in 07 as well. We have a rising second year male, Kyle, who you'll meet in the fall. And we have a, um, a rising first-year student, Michael. First time we'll have two men in the program at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jane. I work at the VA in West LA, and I do adult clinical genetics and also work with a clinical geneticist in health implementation uh, research, for specifically to how to optimize genetic services at the VA. My name is Jessica Salamone. And I live in cold Rochester, New York. I graduated with these two in 2002, so we were the fourth class. I run a cancer genetic counseling service at a large radiology clinic. Nicole Johnson. I'm currently at Invite after being at Hopkins in cardiology for nearly 12 years, so a couple months at a new job. Uh, I'm Eric Rosenthal. I graduated in 1999. Um, I started out in pediatrics at University of Utah, and then I was a cancer counselor at the University of California, San Diego, and then for the past eight years, I've been at Myriad Genetics as first in pro client support with technical questions, and now um, I help develop clinical content for our testing. Uh, I'm Alyssa Terry. I live in cold Syracuse, New York, so I sympathize. Um, and I work with a small nonprofit out of Binghamton. We do every kind of genetic service. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Meredith Weaver, and I graduated with Alyssa in 2006. And I'm currently at the American College of Medical Genetics, um, and I used to do pediatric and adult, and I hope to get back to it. But So currently I'm kind of steeped in policy and research. I'm Jillian Hooker, um, graduated in 2009 and was employed by the program until six months ago. Um, now working for a small startup in Nashville called NextGXDX and um, am the senior manager of clinical development and I think we're still figuring out what that means but I advocated very strongly that research would be um, a big part of that job and it, it has and, and continues to be. Um, so I'm doing a lot of research around um, cost effectiveness of genetic testing, testing algorithms, um, various outcomes related to genetic testing right now. Hi, Megan Truitt Cho. Um, I currently am in New York at Columbia Presbyterian doing about 50 50 prenatal pediatric genetic counseling, and I'm living in New Jersey and living in Maryland as well. So after five and a half years down there, up there, we're moving down here. So I'm kind of in transition. Hi, I'm Katie Lewis. Um, I graduated in 2008 and I work here at the NIH on the ClinSeq project. I'm Courtney Berrios. Um, I graduated in 2008 with Katie, um, and I'm currently at Hopkins. I work on a, primarily on our research project around Hirschsprung disease. Um, I'm Layla Jamal. I graduated in 2012. Um, I'm currently a PhD student in the Department of Health Policy and Management at Johns Hopkins, um, and I did work at Kennedy Krieger for two years before this. I just quit in December, so finding life a little easier now to juggle. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Lori Irby. Um, I graduated with the class of 2000, um, so the second cohort, and we, I overlapped with Eric, and, with, and actually I've overlapped with, I think, all of you in some capacity. Um, I um, stayed and did my PhD at um, Johns Hopkins, um, have been doing research for a number of years, and just recently came back and joined this end of the program um, after Jillian's sad departure, but I'm happy to, to be here in this capacity. 
I'm Rachel Shapira. I just graduated in January and I'm now living in Los Angeles. I'm doing half-time cancer genetic counseling at St. Joseph Hospital in Orange County and uh, half-time with a nonprofit uh, working in Jewish genetic diseases. Hi, I'm Marcy Barr and I am a third year student in the program. Hi, I'm Samantha Caldwell. I am actually Barb's summer student this summer. I am a genetic counseling student, but at the North Carolina program. I'm Danielle Dong. I graduated in, oh God. Oh five. Oh five. <laughs> With them. <laughs> and I work at Genzyme, which is a biotech company on the lysosomal storage disease registries. And in all my spare time, I work on research with Julie. <laughs> I'm Tricia C. I graduated with these two, and I've probably done every area of genetics except for <laughs> cancer, and that's still what I do at Informed DNA, which is a telephone based company. So. And I'm Julie Sapp, and I also graduated in 2005, and I never left. Um, I'm here in NHGRI, and I work on overgrowth disorders and other rare disorders and exome sequencing stuff. I'm Carrie Young. I'm a rising third year student in the program. Hi, I'm Christy Hawkinson. Um, I graduated in 2011, and my classmates and I just walked in together. Um, I work at GBMC. I'm part-time a cancer genetic counselor, and then I also see patients with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and connective tissue disorders. Hi, I'm Mar. I also graduated in 2011, and I work at Recombine, a genetic testing company. Hi, I'm Ellen McNamara. Um, I work at the Undiagnosed Disease Program here at NIH. I'm Sarah Colley. I work at Brigham and Women's Hospital, also graduated in 2011. Um, primarily work in clinical research, and a small part of my time is in the Adult Genetics Clinic. Hi, I'm Kendra Shaw. I work at the Department of Veterans Affairs on a longitudinal cohort program known as the Million Veteran Program. I also work part-time for Recombine, and I graduated in 2011.